Hello and welcome to Bag Chase. I have here two Cabas Mezzo and guess what? I got sent a fake one and this to think these are vintage bags and it looks like a mirrored one like a one-to-one -one copy you know so this is number one bag and this is number two bag from a quick look which one do you think is the fake one bag one or bag two let me know your answer in the comment section and without further ado let's begin so here is the fake one and this emboss LV is rough okay it's rough so here is the real one it's nice and smooth the finish is good yeah I'm gonna show you now side by side right there you go and then the zipper so this is the zipper for the fake one Here you go it's rough compared to this it's fine and then the fabric is just little fabric on here it's not wide enough and here it's wide enough see so now we're gonna go on to the stitching so the stitching for the fake one is this bright yellow and the stitching for the authentic one is like a matte yellow so I don't know if I can show you ah I can show you on here really on the camera doesn't show properly but this, the left one is the fake one, the right is the authentic one. Also the strap width is too narrow on the fake one and this is the authentic. And now while we're here on the strap, here is the glazing. So the red, bright red one is the fake one. Okay, so... The one that is like maroon or faded one is the authentic one. So you can see here, see the glazing, it's still red. So after 16 years, this should have been faded. And this is the authentic one, okay? So let's go on to the base. This is the fake one. If you see, the stitching here is wider. And that's the fake one. This is the authentic one which shows the stitching here is almost close to the corner. But this one is like one and a half inch wider. Yeah, so also so the right one is the fake one. The print is cut on here. See, see this? the print is cut whereas here it's continuous see this flower here it's continuous yeah it's a beautiful cut whereas on the fake one look at this this one here what is that even see this doesn't align this flower doesn't align so i nearly forgotten about the texture of the canvas can you see so the top one is the fake one and this smooth one is the authentic see it's nice and smooth with the texture this looks so rough you know it's rough the, the texture of this is just so rough too much texture so that is the fake one so let's move on to the interior so the interior on the fake one let's see you see this date code is right side up which supposed to be most of the time I think it should be upside down to be honest you could get away with this date code if you're not good with um, authentic ones so but this rivet is really bad the embossed is just so rough and it's almost flat and they don't even have rivet here they're not supposed to so that is for that and for the authentic one 
There you go. It's upside down and it's a good one. And it doesn't have a rivet. So, uh, the heat stamp for... So, as you can see, the, the glazing is red again. And you see the font is wrong. It's too deep. And the O for the Louis is not super round. It should supposed to be round. And the R is a bad font as well. And you see this zipper pull here. It's a different type of zipper pull and it's such a bad one. You know, the LV make this one, but this is such a bad copy. It's supposed to be a smaller version of this. Yeah, so I will show you the real one. The zipper pull is like this here. Okay, it's a smaller version of the main zipper pull. So and no glaze, no red glazing, and then the Louis Vuitton. Here you go, Louis Vuitton print, and then last one is this interior pocket. So the interior pocket of this have got really like a cardboard here it's really hard and the stitching color is wrong and it's just wrong absolutely wrong so the lining is almost identical to this but this one this is too thick because the real one is half this size i'll show you i'll show you what i mean by this one Okay, I'm going to add a photo as well of that. The stitching should be the same color as this, but that one is dark. And you see, it's almost the same lining, but this is just all flower and it's narrow. And this fake one, see, see that? And this one. Yeah, so I guess that's about it okay so what do you think after showing you the difference between these two bags which one did you think and I will check them in the comments section is it bag one or bag two so now I'm gonna give you five seconds to write five, five, four, three, two, one. That's the five, that's the five, the, the, the longest five second, <laughs> not the longest five second, the fastest five second I've ever done. Anyway, uh, so it's the bag number two. The bag number two is the fake one. As you can see here, the glazing are just too bright. The, the, canvas is too rough and you see this zipper pull is just uh too rough i've shown you on the comparison earlier that um that is the fake one and it's the number two so i hope you've learned something i was <clears throat> really really shocked when i saw it the first time i saw it i was too busy to check it which is always my fault but i should have so I showed it on my live community, my community during live sale and I was like, oh my God, this glazing is too bright. I put it away, I said, I'm gonna get it checked. But after the live sale, I checked it and then the next day I got it authenticated, it's fake. So um, it's coming back to its original um, uh, owner. Um, there's no problem with that. Um, it's uh, I, I will get my refund but it's just that you see even fake even vintage one get faked but it's very very rare so um, at least make sure you get your pre-love items from reputable company reputable seller and um, make sure you get them authenticated even if you got them from me you got them from someone else get them authenticated with certificate for your own peace of mind so i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section any questions regarding this video or any other video or if you have any other suggestions for me to film a video let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna have a look at them and see uh what i can do for you so until the next video uh thank you so much bye